is the one who dove and missed the puck. And Chevette makes no mistake as he beats Ferrard. The Mounties are three minutes and 41 seconds away from their 11th straight state hockey title. The crowd on the far side, you see the Mount St. Charles fans on their feet. They're anticipating a victory. We've also had a call, John, at mid-ice, and I'm not sure, but I think Mike Flynn of Hendricken has been whistled off for a penalty. We see the official uh, making the call now or telling the uh, official scorer what the call is going to be. We'll get word for you in a moment. Now, Flynn did not go to the penalty box. He went to the bench. He's standing on the runway right now, but the official did gesture him off the ice, and if that's the case, yeah, three-minute penalty. I didn't see what happened. But I looked up as immediately at the whistle, and Flynn is apparently going to be leaving this ball game. This is what happened with Hendrickin in Game Two when the Mount won it five nothing. They lost their cool. The Hawks started to get chippy. They lost their composure and their discipline, and they started to make runs. They started to hit for the sake of hitting, and it cost them some penalties. And now we'll see a three-minute major penalty which will pretty much do it in terms of Bishop Hendrickson's chances to score a couple of goals here in the closing minutes. The Mount bench is ecstatic. There's Derek Chevette who scored that goal right there as Rick Bozer is trying desperately, pleading with his players to keep cool and to try to patiently try to make something happen. I think we see uh, the official over there too. Frank Rockliffe is also asking the players to keep things down, keep everything in perspective. It's been a very emotional, very difficult, very hard-fought series. But they've got to keep uh, things under control in the late stages. Yeah, it was Flynn, and it was for a high stick, and it was a game disqualification. We'll show up on the board as three minutes, but uh, Mr. Bert Flynn will not be back. Mike Flynn, the senior from East Greenwich, has uh, completed his hockey career, apparently, for Bishop Hendrickson. Well, not exactly in gallant fashion. Birmingham goes into the box. He'll serve the penalty and he'll come out after the three minutes. Well, I've got on the note here, John, game disqualification. So we'll double right. check all no, that. No, Birmingham goes in the box. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Serve it. Flynn is gone. All right, well, we have to remind you the broadcast is intended for the benefit of the viewing audience. Any rebroadcast transmission without the express written consent of Heritage Cable Vision, WPRI-TV, and the Rhode Island Interscholastic League is prohibited. Rodolfi in the corner, Hanley for the mound. Checked on the play by Gaudreau. Back to Robeson, to Hanley. Cross ice to Keith E. Carney, and the Mounties have to come back. Robeson dumps it in. Chasing it back into his corner is O'Connor. Comes this side. Robbie Goodrow will take care of it for Hendrickson, and he gets it out of the zone. Looking for McGeeo. McGeeo across the line. Collects. Fires. Go! Uh-oh. Just when it seems to be all out of hand, Bishop Hendrickson came back, co-captain, the senior, Mark McGeeo, with a goal to make it 4-1. to one. The odds are still against him, but look at the blast by McGeeo. He had the far corner to shoot at, Seta gave him the whole far side, and a shorthanded tally by McGeeo. Mark made a good move up through center ice, poking the puck off the boards around the defenseman. I guess that was Robeson, and Mark McGeeo breaks the shutout bid of Pat Seta. The Hawks have won. It's 4-1, to one, Mount St. Charles, 3:05. Left in the third period, the Mount, of course, is still on the power play, and the Mount ices it. Pass does not connect, and Hendrickson with maybe an opportunity to pop another goal. They'll have a face-off in the Mount St. Charles end as we look at Brian Klein, along with Robbie Gaudreau. Kramer's also out there, and McGeeo, three co-captains for Hendrickson. Well, now is when you have to say if there's any adrenaline left, Mount uh, and, and Hendrickson will get it going, Hendrickson especially, but unfortunately, they're down a man. Keith P. Carney from Mount St. Charles gets it up ahead to Jeffries, too far for LaCroix. Now Gaudreau, LaBresh battling, Klein picks it up now. Brian Klein up the wing boards and out of the zone. With it, waits, hits the official, and I believe it'll be a delayed uh, offside and now waved off. Puck in center ice, Goodrow turns back and wheels. Robbie Goodrow tripped up by Jeffries and Goodrow falls on it and will have a faceoff. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. 
before. We may have pandemonium here on the <laughs> ice, Rick. We'll definitely have pandemonium. Uh, fans of Roar Hendrick are looking for a penalty there along the boards, but good clean play. The official right on top of it, and it's just going to end up a stoppage and play in a faceoff with 2.30 to go. Mount St. Charles up by three. Blue's puck at the blue line. Scott Hanley back from Mount St. Charles. Out racing Klein. Hanley scores! Now the fat lady singing. I think she's been beckoned to step up to the microphone now, Rick. Mount St. Charles, five. Hendrick in one as Scott Hanley outraced Brian Klein. Rick? Disconsolate Dave Berard, as you saw, and you're going to see a nice shot, nice play here as uh, the defense was there, but Berard just couldn't. It ticked off the puck, went off the back of his hand, and we have another offensive opportunity for Mount St. Charles. Play back on. It's Rodolfi in the corner for the mound. They're still on the power play because it was a major penalty. Pass back to Carney. Can't handle it in his skate. Carney and Robeson racing back to protect it. Robeson up to Hanley. Hanley, who just scored, gets it back to Carney. In the middle of Chevette, can't get it. Now it's the Hawks. McGeo checked by Robeson. He gets by Robeson. McGeo goes to the corner. Now he's rattled there by Rodolfi. Chevette to Rodolfi. They can't connect, and it's a loose puck collected by Robeson. Up ahead, a long pass too high for everybody deflected by Hendrickin Jeff Robeson taken away by O'Connor O'Connor McGeo a drive is blocked by Robeson Tom Cocoli out to Bacon Bacon across the line slap shot save Berard rebound Klein or Potter rather Potter and Bacon Bacon to Lawton Jason Lawton centering pass and Wittet can't turn it into a shot. Back to Keith P. To Wittet. The drive. Wide. All the way back to Keith P. Carney. Closes. Centering pass is blocked by Potter. Omicelli tries to clear. Now Omicelli will tie it up. And with just 48 seconds left, Mount St. Charles. set to hop over the boards in jubilation. They are that close to nailing it down. They're familiar with the process of becoming a state champion. After last year's season, they were state champs. Head coach Bill Belisle said it was his most gratifying, most satisfying ever because he didn't think his team had the talent of some of his previous teams. Well, he's back here again in an even tougher series. Five games now. Well, Looks like he's going to get another, and I bet he tells you this is his favorite season. When there's just one game for the title, there's one game on the line, it's really hard to put your money on a team other than Mount St. Charles. That's what many will tell you. Hendrickin brings it back. Bobby Kramer. Offside. Which is not to say and important to point out at this point that that takes nothing, nothing at all away from the Hawks of Bishop Hendrick in high school. They have showed fight, they have showed style, they have showed great ability, and it just didn't bounce their way today, giving up the three goals in the second period. It's time for a little celebration here. The Mount St. Charles crowd, most of the students there, very, very excited. Well, we would not be here playing a fifth game in the best of three if it were not for how evenly matched these two teams were. And on this particular day, Mont St. Charles got off to a great start in the first period, and they've just let it carry right through the entire game. How about this one, John? Tenth meeting of the season, each team with four wins, and they tied twice. Puck out into center ice, 25 seconds left. Bobby Kramer circles back. He's checked by LaCroix. Jeffries tries to feed Del Mastro, couldn't collect. Del Mastro throws it across, bouncing puck, Keith Carney, 10 seconds. LaCroix with a bang at it. Del Mastro goes to the corner. Let's listen. For the 11th consecutive season, Mount St. Charles. 
Charles is the Division I Mede Hockey Champion. Head coach Bill Belial, assistant Dave Belial on the ice. Everybody enjoying the celebration. At the other end of the ice, the Hendrick and Hawks disappointed, but heads up, go out, congratulate their goaltender, Dave Berard. Did such a fantastic job, but the celebration this time around, once again, belongs to Mount St. Charles, 5-1 over Hendrick. There's Berard. Brilliant in this series, I tell you. This is Rick Bozer. The Hendrick and Hawks can hang their heads high. It was tremendous. Bill Belial, look at this. Maybe this is the sweetest as he hugs Robeson and Carney and LaCroix. 